morning everyone right i just want to share with you um this bundle now in this box which you get the box it is like all velvet outlined you could paint over that and and you know do it shabby chic or whatever you want to do with it so they're just spare boxes i had left from valentine's and i thought well i'm not waiting till next valentine what can i do with them ha ah, do a kit so in here and it's quite heavy is a kit and it's just a lace kit now i haven't folded any of them i've just put them in i laid them all out folded them over and shoved them in the box um so it's just going to be um a nice kit absolutely jam-packed as you can see and i will if i've got time fold them if not you'll get them you know just like this they that way they don't crease that much but as you can see it is absolutely jam-packed full of lace and i'm going to take you through that right now so there are 20 laces 20 laces and the box um and that's what you're going to get and there's your first one they're all more or less gathered most of them isn't that pretty so you've got that one and then we've got the blue and this one's stunning i absolutely love that one the goupier again another goupier one another goupier one these are just stunning. This is the eyelet. Goupier. Uh, cotton. The milk cotton. Just gorgeous. Look at that. You know, cut that out. Make yourself a picture frame. Um, cotton. The same as the first one I showed you. This is in red. And we have that one again in a, like a creamy off cream. Off white, should I say, not off cream. That one in pink, like we did the blue. Another gathered one, with a shimmer to it. Another eyelet one, white cotton. Another goupier. A flat one. Scalloped. And they're all identical. All identical for now. And I've got six of these. Um, I will do another six, but there will be different laces the beaded trim the seed bead trim that's beautiful gorgeous one love doing flowers out of that that's a cream one and then the pink so that's your laces you're getting 20 laces nice collection of laces do lots of flowers and a box that you can alter you can paint this box white cream whatever color you want to choose it has got a velour like a velvet outline so it's really nice texture paint that decorate it up and do yourself a, a gift to give somebody else and you're going to get that and all of that for 15 pound that's a bargain now come on your laces are some some of these are like one pound two pound 250 a piece so um yeah but i've got a i'm out today uh, to pick up some more laces <laughs> Yes, I am. And I uh, just thought, well, out with the old, in with the new. <laughs> Give you a good bargain. £15, if you're interested. There's six of these with these laces, but there'll be six more with the same box, I think. But um, laces may vary, that's all I can say. Some will be the same and some may not. Because um, I am at the end of the line of some of them and I'm not going to get them back in again for a while. Okay, I'm getting new ones. So, um... If you want them, tell me on this video um, that you want one. Email me with your email address for your PayPal. And we only take PayPal or a postal order if you live in the UK. And um, I need to know where you're from so that I can calculate the shipping to tell you. It's normally £3.30 for the UK and approximately five to six pound for overseas, okay? If you want it tracked, add another pound and 10p for the UK, so then your postage will be four pound 10p, 
um, and if you want it trapped for overseas and uh, that will probably be another two or three pound on top okay so that's all I can say um, I just want to say something else about the postage as well right it is shop policy that any overpayments we refund but any underpayments we do claim back um, and I haven't done many claiming back not because it's not due but because I just didn't bother but you know I have to for the accountant I have to do what I'm supposed to do but their money's got to be accounted for for somewhere um, and it is shop policy that any underpayments will be claimed so it's on the shop policy it's always been there and I know some of you have uh, not, not argue but some of you said well I paid what you asked for in the final bill but if you read the shop policy it does state if we always weigh, just say for argument's sake, you bought a pair of scissors, we would weigh that before we put it onto the store and then we would put the price it would cost to ship that. That is accurate for each item, each individual item. But if you bought that, that and that, it doesn't combine it on the store. We have to do that. So therefore your shipping may be more or less. If it's less... Um, we refund you if it's more and we haven't got all the refunds done so I don't stay we haven't done mine we'd, we're working on them because it is a long hard process to get everything done but um, and I used to do it immediately but now shipping now tracking and that it's all having to be done different way so you may have to wait for a refund but we will get it done within the month this um, like I say you know it is in the shop policy so it's unfortunate that the website doesn't calculate um, the correct shipping if you buy more than one item. And it has to be done manually. So, you know, we do keep the cost down on everything you buy. And if you're sent uh, an invoice, you know, for a pound ten, because we anything over a pound, we'll ask for. Anything under a pound, we don't ask for. So that's good, so that you're not messing about with, you know, PayPal fees and whatever. So I just want you to bear it in mind. I have to account for every single penny. In, unfortunately, the website doesn't calculate if you buy more than one item. I have to do it manually. That's another job that I have to do. When we get it to the post office, that would go through a 90p letter box because they have a square box and they pass the parcel through. If they don't fit, you charge the next price. And you understand that. You must understand that. That on its own would go through it. That and that wouldn't because it's thicker than the envelope, the box that they use to poke it through to test it. So it goes up to the next price. So that and that would cost, and it would go from 90p to £3.30. That's not my doing. That's the post office. And that's on the condition uh, when you buy anything from the shop. You know, it's uh, you have to understand that. Um. We do try. We're not like other people who charge you £2.70 no matter what size you get up to a certain weight and size. So that if you do, it should be 90p. You now have to pay £2.70 because it's standard. We don't do any of that because why should you pay more than what you need to? So we work on accuracy. And like I say, it is down to the post office when we take your parcel. Um, And, you know, we're not expensive, so... You're saving all the time, and we we strive. We absolutely anybody who knows us knows we strive to keep everything down at low cost. Anything you purchase as low as possible, and anything that you you know ship out as low as possible. We strive that that's because we're known for that. So please, 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 if you receive a refund, accept it, because there are some sat there waiting to be accepted. So run along and see if you're due a parcel. If you receive um, underpayment, please pay it. And, um, you know, I haven't seen one more than £3. So, and that's because it's gone from a 90p item, because you've ordered something that's a bit bulky and won't fit through the letterbox, it's pushed it up to 330 which is a standard rate for UK. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll speak to you all soon. Don't forget, if you want this kit, put it on this video. Bye for now.